sets of six, these tackles that are made, Brad Dwyer will be involved in the majority of them. Will they go for it? He does. He does. He does. He's kicked it. What an amazing goal kick from Brad Dwyer. <laughs> to know he wasn't there last year and Blake Austin gets there and how about that for a finish it's with Austin again another one of those trademark dummies what a beautiful try but this fellow's having an absolute field day tonight Blake Austin he has waltzed through them he has waltzed through them and it's four it's four for Blake Austin Time for Man of Steel. We saw the VT there uh, of this week's top scorers. Brad Dwyer getting the points for you. Um, Blake Austin for you guys. An unbelievable performance. But Josh Charlie didn't get a point. Can you believe that? Uh, no, you know, also also deserved these points. But you know, I definitely said you know Charnas was up for some points this week, and you know he had one of his best games of the season. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shocked that that Charnas didn't pick any points up. Luke Thompson, Lachlan Coote and Kane Lynette. Kane Lynette were, were superb for OKR as they pushed Saints close this week as well. It's, it was closer than a lot of people thought it would be, Jonesy, with OKR leading for a lot of that game. Yeah, and we've, uh, yeah, I think OKR are a good side, mate. They can, they can beat anybody on the day. They've got all the players and the ingredients to put out a great performance and challenge teams like Saints. And uh, I've already mentioned a million times, it's going to be tough for Saints to be Saints-like every week. Yeah. You know I mean, I know I'm, I'm banging the same drum here, but um, you're going to get results like that. And they're not they're not invincible, uh, but they're doing a great job. Robbie's still at the top of this list, but I think it's interesting how Blake Austin's crept up, Steph Ratchford in there as well, two Warrington players. And it's not that big a lead either for, either for Robbie. You know, he's, he's three in, in, in above Blake Austin, but I reckon... Back end of the season, it'll be interesting to see. It could be, it could be a real good four or five horse race. I love this new format. Are you a fan as a player, Jack? Yeah, I think it's a great concept. You know, it's you know as a player, it's probably the most you know fairest way of doing it. And yeah, I'm I'm, I'm happy the way it's it's been done. The player that interests me the most on this list so far is a man who I thought would be a key signing, Danny Bruff. Yep. Danny Bruff in joint third. And he is the little maestro. And this weekend, obviously, him getting two points. Big day for Fita. And Wakefield get a crucial win over Salford to go into fourth. It's it's a massive win for Wakey. It's so good now, Super League. I was, I was about 10, 15, 20 years ago when uh, people were talking about, oh, it's always three or four teams. We no, they just don't know. And this is exactly yeah. what we've wanted for years. We've got it. And it's great to see an old man like Danny Bruff can still perform and make that difference. And uh, it'll also be interesting back end of the year as well, how much it means to the individual players, this Man of Steel. Because having played, I don't know, 20 odd rounds and bones start to hurt, right? And the yeah. muscles start to pull. Where the players, because you've got to be on the pitch, you've got to be in it to win it, yeah. right? So you don't want to lose out on the opportunity. So will players play when they're not quite right, when they're yeah. struggling with fatigue, when maybe that they'd have a, a week's rest? And I think back end, it could 
create an extra dimension for rugby league. That's awesome. I love that.